Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo. Before we check out today's beta and preview, which is the version 1.21.50.26, by the way, Minecraft have in fact updated the main menu panoramic background. It is visible in the latest snapshot that released earlier on today. It's not quite visible for betas and previews, but I do have a download in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Shout out to Agent Mindstorm. Now, of course, this is featuring the upcoming updates that will be released this year. It's called the Winter Drop, which, of course, introduces the Pale Biome, Creaking, the Resin, and so much more. Let me know what you think of this background. Let's start with the new features, but also bug fixes. Biomes. Music volume now gradually lowers to zero when entering a pale garden and gradually resumes when leaving it. We all know that Minecraft music is peak in gaming. When you enter this biome, it dwindles away. This is meant to be a dark, eerie, gloomy biome. So if we then leave this again, the music is once again going to start, as you can see. So I kind of like this effect. Something pretty cool to kind of get people scared when they enter this biome. Talking about the pale garden biome, added the pale oak saplings, eye blossoms, pale moss block, and hanging pale moss to the wandering trader. Same applies for Minecraft Java. I already had this set up for today's tweets, but if we scroll down, we have the pale hanging moss. If we go to our next villager, we have the pale moss block. Going to the next one, we have the sapling, Going to the next one, we also have the flowers. So these are going to be obtainable in flat worlds. Now, according to the latest snapshot, it says wandering traders can sell resin clumps. That is meant to be, if we do forward slash give at P and we do resin underscore clump, it's meant to be this. Like, I brutally murdered, like, hundreds of these and never managed to find one selling this. It wasn't mentioned on the Minecraft Bedrock Edition changelog, so it was probably just slightly bugged. But yes, these can now be obtained from these. Moving on to block changes, adjusted the flammability of pale moss, pale moss carpet, and pale hanging moss. They now burn more quickly, but take longer to catch on fire. They can now be ignited by lava. So if I was to set things on fire, as you can see, wow, they did spread incredibly fast then. You guys seen that? Everything just instantly spread. Yes. So this thing uh, will take longer to catch fire, as the developers have said, but will burn quicker. This is definitely going to be one of those deadly biomes you should probably avoid. The attenuation drop-off rate for pale hanging moss and the creaking hot ambient sounds is now linear, allowing them to be heard from greater distances. We have a bug report. Here is the report. Here is the sounds on Minecraft's Bedrock Edition. And I can tell you from listening to this, it's not so great. You don't hear the sounds that often... They kind of don't seem as dark and as gloomy as they do on Minecraft Java. This is what it sounds like on Java. I don't know about you, but that is so much better. Apparently, Bedrock now matches it. I'll be honest with you, you can kind of hear it but it doesn't seem to be as frequent. It might well be just because I haven't got this on a large scale. Not quite sure what that person in the bug report did. I still think it sounds better on Java. But we did get some good changes to the eye blossoms. Eye blossoms now play sounds when opening and closing. So if I was to go ahead and grab myself an open one, eventually when it closes, it will actually make some sound. Now, not only does it make some sound, it also has some really cool particle effects. There it is. Although slightly ruined by the sheep. Open eye blossoms now emits ambient sounds when placed on pale moss block. So when these are placed on here, They'll make sounds. 
apparently. What about the closed ones? Nothing spectacular. But apparently they're in harmony if they're on the pale moss block. Vines, K vines, twisting vines, and weeping vines now play their correct sounds instead of the nether wart sounds. I didn't even know that was a thing. So apparently they now have their own respective and much better sounds. Apparently. This is going to be the same for uh, these. Apparently. And also these. So apparently they were using nether wart sounds previously. Hanging Pale Moss now has the same model as Java. Eye blossoms placed in the world and in flower pots now emit a particle when opening slash closing. Pretty much what I showed you before. I can tell you though when you put them inside of flower pots, they do take quite some time to close slash open. It might be because I've paused the day cycle. But yeah, these can take a little bit of time. Pale oak leaves now emit falling leaf particles. Check out this video. I actually thought that was pretty cool. I'm really starting to enjoy the ambience behind this biome. The creaking heart. A lot of changes here. Reduce the distance by which the creaking heart can spread resin clumps by one block. Resin clumps can now only spread onto pale oak log, stripped pale oak log, pale oak wood, and stripped pale oak wood. So if I was to go forward slash time set, and we did this as night... We then go ahead and change our game mode to survival. Kind of waiting for our good old buddy to turn up here. Okay, he's over there. Go ahead and hit him a bunch. Hit him a bunch. We want to spread the resin. The resin's only going to spread apparently to these types of blocks. So, let's see. Not spreading to all of them, but it is spread. There you go. It's starting to spread to the other one there. Okay. But apparently they've reduced how far they can actually spread. I'm not entirely sure why they went ahead and did that, to be honest with you. Let's turn around. Thank you, buddy. I need to test this a little bit more. Uh, I've seen so many YouTubers making farms with this, guy's, this guy. And I'm so excited to actually test it on my own. But yeah, apparently they've now been limited a little bit more. Resin bricks. Recipes for resin brick slabs, stairs, walls now give the same amount of blocks as the nether brick ones. The developers in the developers notes said counting is hard. Resin clumps. Mobs now correctly pathfind over resin clumps. Apparently when they were going over these, they were having some issues. Moving on to changes with commands. I wrote it inside of this book. They said translated raw text with extra percentage signs in them. No longer expand inconsistently for numbered forms like this compared to non-numbered ones like this. But also the effect command now properly displays duration as seconds in the displayed message after adding an effect. So if we did forward slash effect at P and we did strength, for example, and we did it like this and then we hit true, it will tell you how long in seconds. Creaking. It says the volume and the pitch of the creaking step sounds have been adjusted. The attenuation drop-off rate for some of the creaking sounds is now linear, allowing them to be heard from greater distances. Very similar to the biome itself, the hanging, etc. Moving on to features. Standardized the blocks that trees can replace when growing with a few exceptions. We have a bug report. Pale oak leaves stop any saplings for pale oak saplings from growing up. So there is a video here. So this user 
is going to grab themselves a sapling, place this on top, try and bone meal this. And as you can see, it does not pass through this leaf or these leaves. It's now been changed. So how this works is if we were to go ahead and place this down, place this on top and do this, as you can see, it works. We actually managed to get ourselves a bee nest. It also says all trees can now grow through leaves, but with the exception of cherry leaves, they cannot grow through their own leaves. I don't know why they've done this. Maybe you guys can explain a little bit better in the comments section. But this one simply will not pass through. I honestly don't know the reasoning as to why it's like that. It does say all trees can grow on dirt uh, like blocks. So anything that looks like dirt and acts like dirt. Tall grass generates properly with its top parts in the pale garden biome. Tall grass generates properly with its top parts in the lush cave biomes. Moving on to gameplay. These are quite interesting. Holding the jump button when falling on a slime block no longer cancels the bounce. So apparently if you're holding fall on, on, on this, it's not meant to cancel the block. Now, the video with this was showing it on mobile. But here's a more interesting one. Sneaking while landing on a slime block no longer causes fall damage. The developers did leave some notes regarding this. Developer notes. The intended way to stop bouncing on a slime block is now to sneak. Previously, players could stop bouncing by holding the jump button, but this was an unintentional oversight that worked since the jump effectively cancelled out the movements from the block. This caused other types of bugs, such as when hitting a mob with a mace with wind charge enchantments while holding the jump button. The new player jump behavior is to always pick the highest between existing vertical velocity and the jump velocity. So apparently, if you're able to, if you're holding jump with this, so I'll do it one more time. I'm now holding jump. That doesn't cancel it anymore. But now if I was to get a forward slash game mode S and crouch, I don't take damage and it is, this is the proper way to do it. So apparently... This is why Minecraft is a mad game. One issue causes another issue causes another issue. And they've kind of went back on this. And this has been the way it's like been broken on Minecraft for forever. Since I was playing on Minecraft Java years and years ago. So I love the developer notes. They're my new favorite thing. It also says fixed one case where blocks would fail to place if a player would place a block and then change their selected slot. Before the server handled the block placement, this would reject the block placement because the server didn't expect the slot to change. We have a bug report. So this has been around for quite some time. Might be one of the reasons why they're trying to fix hardcore mode. This person's trying to place down this item, this block, and it's not actually working itself. Now there's another video right here as well. So this person grows a tree. They then go ahead and start trying to place down some blocks. And it's fine there, but if they try and do it here, it just disappears on its own. Moving on to the graphics changes. Sky color now gradually transitions when traveling between different biomes rather than changing abruptly. We have a bug report. This has also been a problem for quite some time, but I've noticed this more obviously with the introduction of the pale biome itself and as you can see the transitions here it's way too quickly so a much smoother transition here keep an eye above you'll notice that things start to get a lot darker and much more moody and as you can see it's quite dark and if we go ahead and leave this as you can see here it transitions back so i like that items resin clump and resin brick items no longer floats in the player's hands in third person view I had no idea that this was actually a thing. Resin clump and apparently the brick. I'll grab a whole bunch of these and see what they look like anyway. Why does it look why does it look huge? Why did it look huge? Surely that's another bug. <laughs> Surely that's another bug. Also, why can I see my placement like through my player? Yeah. <laughs> they fix one bug and another one arises. Dude, look at the size of this. Doesn't quite big the uh, beat the giant cobwebs, but 
Uh, yeah, fixed one bug, another one's added. Open and closed eye blossoms can now be used on mushrooms to obtain the respective suspicious stews when milking them. So if we were to go ahead, feed you this, milk this, as you can see. One of them's like blindness. If we do it again with the closed ones, do it again. This one is going to be uh, nausea. Apparently now, blackstone can now be used to repair yeah. stone tools and stone weapons. So I have one in here. We go ahead and open this, put this in here. As you can see, we're now able to use them to repair it. Changes with mobs, even more changes with the creaking. Reduce the speed of non-hostile creakings. Tamed wolves attacks no longer prevent creakings from attacking the player. Creakings can no longer move when only their feet are observed and their feet are in soul sand or mud. Creakings can now approach a player which is looking downward, stopping only once they enter the player's field of view. The creaking now sways when hit by a projectile. The creaking's attack animation has been smoothed out for more of a natural motion. Changes with realms fixed a bug where loading screens while loading a realm were not showing realms UI elements, stability and performance, improved game loading stability, structures the jigsaw dimension padding is now taken into account when placing the start piece of a jigsaw structure let's read the technical stuff so at the bottom all of this has actually been mentioned in the technical changes this is really huge apparently for creators giving them the ability to now copy and paste their custom structures making things so much better so poggy actually posted this saying just joy all over my face right now so the custom builds that they've made can now be copy and pasted which means when they make custom add-ons this stuff is going to be so much better now it all says up here forward slash load structure pog they already had these ones created here is an example from um dark king as well forward slash place They've already created a structure and it can now be placed. Jigsaws have been in Bedrock for quite some time, but I don't believe they've had this kind of power. Like I said, I'm not technical, but to the technical community, this is huge. Trial spawners. Some trial spawners did not have an extra breeze out at once when ominous. User interface. Let's read the change log. So we do have a couple of these. They just don't need to be on signs. They have started to move the preview UI to the full release of Minecraft. That is in 1.21.43. You may have noticed it has been updated. They're just polishing a couple more things. Vanilla parity. It's only one change. It's to do with blocks. Resin clumps and glow lichen. Now play their step sound when on top of a block an actor is walking on. I noticed it with this. But I did not notice it with this. Unless it's meant to sound like that. Kind of sounded the same as, as regular grass. And these guys are trying to ruin today's video. Anyway, last but not least, we have the technical updates. Let's read the change log. I'll leave a link down below in case you guys want to check it out. But we have mob changes, blocks, audio, biomes, Molang editor, and so much more. If you're interested in the technical side, the link is down below. So yeah, 1.21.50 is lining up to be a pretty awesome update to end the year for Minecraft. This year has been incredible. And I'm excited to check this out in full release. Don't forget, drops are much smaller than major updates. But we'll be giving them more frequently. Have a wonderful day.